Deaths, bills, empty pockets are the terrifying things you do every single second. To clear your payments, you have collected debts. Now there are several reasons to keep your debts in check to save yourself from depression and extreme financial crisis. Debt can affect your credit score. Debt can limit your financial flexibility. Debt can cost you more in the long run, and high levels of debt can be financially stressful. That's the reason you need to keep your debts in check. By keeping your debts in check, you can improve your financial stability, reduce financial stress, and enjoy greater financial flexibility. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share. Also, hit the bell icon for future updates. Here are some steps you can take to get your debt under control. Make a list of all your debts, including the creditor, interest rate, and minimum monthly payment for each. Prioritize your debts. Consider tackling high interest debts first, as they can cost you more in the long run. You might also want to tackle smaller debts first to build momentum. Look for ways to cut your expenses. Can you reduce your monthly expenses by canceling subscriptions or negotiating lower rates with your creditors? Consider consolidating your debts. If you have multiple debts with high interest rates, consolidating them into a single loan with a lower interest rate can save you money in the long run. Try to negotiate with your creditors. If you're having trouble making your minimum monthly payments, you may be able to negotiate a lower payment or a temporary hardship plan. Consider seeking professional help. If you're having trouble managing your debts on your own, you may want to consider working with a credit counselor or financial planner who can help you develop a plan to get your debts under control. Remember to be patient and persistent. Getting your debts under control takes time and effort, but the long-term benefits are well worth it. Now, how can we clear our debts with all the expenses? Well, the answer is clear. You need to do a side hustle to gather extra money. You can generate some passive income easily. There are several ways to clear debts. Pay off the debt in full. This is the most straightforward way to clear a debt. But it may not always be possible, especially if you have a large amount of debt. Negotiate a settlement. If you are unable to pay the full amount of your debt, you may be able to negotiate a settlement with your creditor. This involves agreeing to pay a lesser amount than the full balance in exchange for having the debt considered paid in full. Debt consolidation. This involves taking out a new loan to pay off multiple existing debts, such as credit card debts or medical bills. The goal is to have a single, lower monthly payment and potentially a lower interest rate. Debt management plan. This involves working with a credit counseling agency to create a plan to pay off debts. The agency may be able to negotiate lower interest rates or monthly payments with creditors on your behalf. Credit counseling. This involves working with a credit counseling agency to better understand and manage your financial situation. A counselor can help you create a budget, identify ways to reduce expenses, and develop a plan to pay off your debts. File for bankruptcy. Filing for bankruptcy is a legal process that allows you to discharge certain types of debts. There are different types of bankruptcy, each with its own eligibility requirements and consequences. It's important to understand the potential consequences of filing for bankruptcy before proceeding. Seek assistance from a financial counselor or a bankruptcy attorney. If you are struggling to manage your debts and are considering bankruptcy, it may be helpful to seek the assistance of a professional who can provide guidance and help you explore your options. It's important to keep in mind that clearing debts can be a long and difficult process, and it may take time and effort to successfully do so. However, with a solid plan in place and a commitment to taking action, it is possible to work towards becoming debt-free. Although, on the other side, you can request a loan from a bank. You can request a personal loan. If you have high interest credit card debt, you may be able to get a personal loan with a lower interest rate and use it to pay off your credit card debts. This can save you money in the long run by reducing the amount of interest you pay. And business loan, if your business has high interest debt, you may be able to get a business loan with a lower interest rate and use it to pay off your debts. This can help your business save money on interest and improve its financial stability. Also, you can buy out. If you have a business partner, you may be able to use a buyout to purchase their share of the business and become the sole owner. This can help you take control of the business's financial decisions and reduce the risk of partnership disputes. Now I will share some tips for reducing debt using a personal or business loan or a buyout. 
Tip number one, shop around. Compare loan offers from multiple lenders to find the best terms and interest rates. Tip number two, negotiate. Don't be afraid to negotiate with lenders to try to get a lower interest rate. Tip number three, create a repayment plan. Make a plan for how you will pay off your loan or buyout, including the number of your monthly payments and the length of the loan term. Tip number four, seek professional advice. If you're unsure about the best course of action, consider seeking the advice of a financial advisor or business coach. I hope you will find this video helpful. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share.